No, don't shout at me. I'm defending fascism. No, I'm exposing you as a fascist. Because, because... Do you realize... Uh, I'm, I'll tell you how. You asked me a question. Hold on. Are you familiar? Are you familiar with the black shirts in Italy or the brown shirts in Germany? Do you realize that they would go to campuses, goons, and would stand in the back of the room, and when somebody tried to make an intelligent presentation and answer questions, they would shout them down, yell at them, try to intimidate them, and count as success if they could get the event canceled and the speaker threatened. But see, the problem is, sometimes you get speakers like me who are not scared of people like you. We recognize your frauds. <laughs> I recognize, I recognize that ultimately you are afraid of ideas. You're not willing to engage with me. Yes, you're afraid of ideas. You're not afraid of fascists. You think I pose a threat to you? I'm an immigrant. I came to America with nothing. What threat do I pose to you? Union, why did Hitler consider Stalin his greatest enemy and consider that Lebensraum to the east was the way to go and killed 80 of, uh, sent 80 percent of his soldiers to fight the Soviets if they were basically the same uh, ideology? Very good question, which is, if Nazism and, and, and communism are both leftist, how come, do they, how come they went to war? First of all, it's important to realize that ideologies that are very close to each other frequently do go to war. The Catholics and the Protestants, the Shia and the Sunni. The Shia and the Sunni are both in the House of Islam. They actually agree on 99% of theological beliefs, but they've been fighting for centuries. Why? Competitions over territory and power and so on. Remember that Hitler was a national socialist. The reason that Hitler hated the communists was not because they were socialists. He liked that part about it. What he didn't like is that they were taking their orders from Moscow. He saw them as traitors to Germany. So Hitler's priority was socialism in Germany. Now remember that Hitler, who went to war with Stalin, was allied with Stalin. So on the foreign policy domain, Hitler was perfectly happy to sign the Hitler-Stalin pact and then violate it for reasons of national interest. So the bottom line of it is the fact that Germany and, and the Soviet Union went to war in no way refutes the idea that progressivism, communism, and fascism were all three sister movements that developed in Germany, in Italy, in America, and in Russia, all in response to the crisis of Marxism. The reason I mention this is not, not to refute him, but to say as I'm listening to him talk, it occurred to me, wow, yeah, yeah. All right. All right. See, this is the acceptable bigotry of the left. This is the acceptable bigotry of the left in which... <laughs> You have, this, you have this lousy beneficiary of white privilege, right? Now, if, now if, he knew, if, he knew, if he knew an ounce of history, he would sit here, listen to me, and stand up and ask a question that will show me up. But he won't do that. He won't do that because he's a thug. He's a thug who wants to shout me down. That's all he knows how to do.